funds for the Stephen Lewis Foundation. And the reason um, that we raise funds for the Stephen Lewis Foundation is because they've dedicated themselves, they form a foundation to raise money to assist the grandmothers in Africa who are coping with the most extraordinary circumstances you can imagine in terms of a whole generation of parents being lost to the HIV AIDS pandemic, which has devastated Sub-Saharan Africa and wiped out a generation of parents. So we now have aging grandparents, grandmothers, in fact, who are struggling to raise these grandchildren and get them to school and possible to help them to survive primarily. And that means that they're struggling with poverty, with illness. Many of those grandmothers are themselves are to be positive, um, and they have very, very few resources. Um, each of Gail and I went to a gathering of the grandmothers last a couple of years ago, um, and we heard many other stories firsthand, and it is heart wrenching. Um, so the pandemic, um, I mean, we've heard different stories recently. Uh, initially, we, we heard that by 2010, when we're celebrating the Olympics, there will be 20 million orphans in Africa. They've since um, lowered that figure somewhat, but it's still around 15 million. <laughs> and um, they need our help. The reason we support the Stephen Lewis Foundation is because it's primarily, primarily the work they're doing, but also because it's a very leading organization. They guarantee us that 90% of the funds we raise and send to them will go directly to Africa. They have got such a system on the ground that they can get money to African agencies within five days. So, so if there's a crisis here or here, they can send money almost immediately. And they have a huge network. Every project is monitored. They now have projects in over 15 countries. We believe and we maintain that we were the second <laughs> grandmother's group in Canada. So it is a social movement, and um, and it's worthy. I think. Um, let me see. The Stephen Lewis Foundation itself, in very short period of time, has raised over two million dollars in distributed. Well, they raised more than that. That's how much is distributed so far to Africa. Uh, we got a boost um, uh, when Stephen was came here uh, a couple of years ago. I remember that. I mean, if you students union brought in. And the student union selected us as a recipient and a sponsor us. And we got to go on stage with Stephen Lewis. And you can see us right in the middle of the show. Right there with Stephen Lewis. And, uh, the, and the student union donated uh, $1,500 $1, to help get us going. So we have a <laughs> The Nanko Grannies. It's a small group, there's usually only about eight or ten of us operating at any time. We've raised over twenty thousand dollars for sketches to the foundation. Um, as I mentioned, each and I went to the gathering of the grandmothers, which was a three-day conference that preceded the International AIDS Conference, the World AIDS Conference in Toronto. They brought the Stephen Lewis Foundation brought over a hundred grandmothers. 200 Canadian grandmothers went to meet them. And there were probably another 100 grandmothers from the Toronto area that volunteered. It was, a, it was an amazing event. Like, we were laughing, we were crying, we were dancing, we were hugging, we were singing. And it was, it was just amazing. Uh, at that time, they launched the Grandmothers to Grandmothers campaign. That's our target. And people say, well, what's your target? Raising money for, we're raising money specifically for the grandmothers. Stephen Lewis does a whole bunch of things. They do everything in terms of um, nutrition, education, um, alleviating poverty, trying to get medicines. They don't do antiretroviral because that's government job. And since everybody's been nice, I hope to see you there. And thank you again so much. Like, this is really incredible.